Right. However, they do not teach us to come home. Right. They don't train us to come home. Right. And, you know, I've, I've tried to have a bill passed, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, military spouses got it blocked to where I could not get it passed. Right. But I personally think that whenever our men and women get finished with a mission in combat, right. they need to go to a place like Germany or Hawaii or someplace for 30 days. For 30 days to where they can be desensitized. Right. And that would A, not only stop um, you know, family violence at home. Right. But it would also stop, I personally believe it would stop a lot of suicides. Oh, yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Yeah, you're right. Also, because I, I want... You're taking an individual mm -hmm. that all they've done for the last nine to mm -hmm. 13 months is they've been on high alert. Right. They've had people watching their back. Right. You know, they've, they've been in, in constant gunfights. And, you know, constant battle. Right. And then you take them and you put them into society. Yeah. And people want to know why, um, you know, these units that come home, why all of a sudden family violence starts going up. Yeah. And, you know, uh, the family violence numbers start going up. Right. Your, your, your suicide numbers start going up. Right. And everything else. Right. Well, if, if you've been in combat and then, you know, your wife, yes, your wife or your, your husband, depending on who was in combat, the other person is an innocent victim in all this. Right. But where else or how else are you going to release the stress? You know, because like uh, a lot of the families go from being a single parent family because, yes, you're married, but you're single family because your spouse is, is out fighting the war. Right. And then you come home and dad or mom, you try to put them back in the same mode that they were in before you went to combat. Right. It's not going to happen. Right. Right. 